Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope that you are doing well. I'm doing okay. Today I thought I would show you how to make some SVG files for your scanning cut. You don't have to have a um, scanning cut to use the files. The scanning cut, the Brother Canvas workspace is free for download and or online. You can download that and transfer the files over um, in various ways. If you have a silhouette or a Cricut, you probably already know how to do that. I don't really dabble in the silhouette or Cricut software, so I can't really tell you how to do that, but I can tell you how to make these mugs, right? I have a project coming up and I thought it would be fun to just show you how to make some cute little easy peasy mugs when i show you how easy this is you're gonna be like wow really yes really all right so besides scanning a mug and finding a mug to cut out i just thought it'd be fun to try to make my own because i have a few projects i want to try to do um and it's fun to learn how to make stuff so you're gonna need a few shapes we'll start off with the shape so if you go file new which we don't want to go new we want to um actually we'll, we'll go file new don't save now you have a blank canvas you're going to go under where it says file you're just going to go down to the second icon where it says shapes and we're going to just pluck out a few random but needed shapes okay now you can really get whatever kind of shape you want to get for your base of your mug but this shape right here you really 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 need okay now with that we're going to go to text the T and you're going to select whatever font you want I have been using the Florida text and you just left click inside of your space and I'm going to put the letter D and I'm going to left click and kind of drag all this over to left click in the big spot and I'm going to select everything, then I'm going to right click and I'm going to select duplicate. All right, so now we're going to be working with just these two for now. And I like to add color to my projects just so I can see what I did right or wrong. It helps me understand what I need to do. All right, and we're just going to highlight this and drag that out of the way for now by left clicking. Everything is a left click basically. Okay, so we have this shape right here. We need to make this shape change to go up. So we're going to go over under edit. You have these three, these four icons. One says property, edit, layers, and artboard. We're going to go to edit. Under transform, we're going to type in 270. That's our degree. And now we're going to make the D a little bit larger okay now I do want to tell you that you don't have to use that D if you select text you can go to whatever kind of script you want I just like it because it's kind of bubbly but if you find a better font like this BCM PC Utah you can select that again it's a capital D and we're just going to make this larger and we're going to give it a different color just so you can see the difference in it you see like this D is much more slim and this one has like more of a bubbly and I like that bubbly effect and I'm going to show you why in a few minutes but I'm going to go ahead and right click on this and duplicate so you can see just the two different ones for your D so now you have your um, shape and you have your letter we're going to make our letter go down a little bit and I can't give you an exact measurement because it's going to be up to your preference how you want it to be and you see we're just going to kind of overlap it a little bit and we want enough room to get our finger into that mug okay so I've left clicked and dragged and highlighted everything under edit we're going to go to where it says process overlap and we're going to select weld and you see we have our mug now I do not like how big the mug is compared to the handle so I'm going to right click and um, I'm not going to right click. I'm going to control Z or go up to undo and you'll get undo by doing the back arrow or control Z will also get you undo. So now I'm going to go back and make my D a little bit larger and I'm going to use my arrow key up just a scotch or a smidgen 
and I'm going to see if I like that better. So I'm left clicking, highlighting, going back under, under, process overlap and I like that better okay so now we have our mug so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and right click duplicate and put this to the side okay now you see what all our we're gonna move this one to the top over a little bit and we're gonna do um, that same process with this thinner D just so you can see the difference if you want to um, use that D or not I really like the bubbly this one in the the teal color versus the green so we're just going to see how it looks because you know sometimes it may look a lot better and then you're going to left click highlight everything go to edit process overlap weld and now you have your mug and they look okay i still like that bubbly but it's okay and we'll right click and duplicate on here so now we have our two little mug pieces now we need bases and this is where those random shapes that we chose earlier will come into play I'm just gonna move them down so you can see all the wonderful options that we've given ourselves I really like this one um, just because it has like a little different feel to it but I'm just highlighting everything by going up and left clicking on them and I'm just choosing random colors so we can all see what we are about to get ourselves into okay I used that color already didn't I <laughs> so now I'm just going to drag my mouse down over this right click duplicate okay now with the the mug that we chose first we're just going to take this mug duplicate it duplicate it once more so we're going to have four mugs okay okay so there we are there we go just going to left click drag this up just a little bit and now this process is very very easy um so it's not too hard if you have questions or you feel like i went too fast let me know and i will definitely slow it down so some some so now i'm going to take this like bubbly triangle i'm going to make it a little bit smaller i'm just going to move this up some okay and i'm going to do the same thing with this one and we're just going to work kind of at the same time just because i think you'll probably get the concept that it's almost the exact same so we're going to scoot this over a little bit and scoot it up and we're using our left right down and up keys to do that so now that i have that i'm going to highlight those two and i'm going to select weld and now you see the mug and it's off a little bit so we're going to go control z and we've undid it and we're going to scoot it over a little bit and i hit the mouse three times the left key three times i like that i think i'm going to move this over with my um left arrow key once and we're going to highlight this again with the left click and go to edit process overlap weld and look we have two mugs and we're going to move these out the way and we're just going to go ahead and move these two down now the reason why i like to have options when i am working on my projects is because sometimes i'll get to the machine the actual machine and it doesn't look good it doesn't look good at all and i don't like it now i don't really care for this uh, design but I thought we could use we can try and see a, a different design because this I would never use a mug like that so we just left click go to edit and weld and you see how it looks now it looks funny so we're gonna go control Z and undo but you can definitely take that and put it as some froth so we're gonna just nix these two all the way out we're gonna get rid of them and we just highlight and press delete and it goes bye bye all right, so now we're going to take this one, make it a little bit smaller. And I like for my mugs to have a, a, a good solid base portion at the bottom of the mug, just because, you know, I like cutesy, cutesy mugs. Like a lot of my mugs are really cutesy, cutesy. I have like a Bambi mug that I got from the Disney store and other like little fancy mugs not tea mugs per se but like hot cocoa mugs or you can eat soup out of a mug so i left clicked and i'm going back to edit 
process overlap and there is our mug like that and the reason why they look totally different is because of how the you know the d is on there like the base is the same but our d's are different and so it gives the cups a different look altogether. now this is the one that i first started playing around with and i want to show you the difference i'm going to um duplicate this twice and i'm going to put that one back up so we're going to put this here and we're going to move this over a little bit just like that now if you want a pointy bottom then you know that's what you can go with if you don't want a pointy bottom then use something that's rounded okay so you see how we have these two pieces here right and i need to move this over just a little I'm using my left arrow key and I'm clicking it over and I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not doing any fancy anything to it. Going to, I selected everything, process overlap, and we have this. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with that one. Now you see they look totally different, totally different. Okay, but that is totally up to you. Now we're going to take our last set of mugs and we're going to take these two pieces. I should have did this one time, but that's okay. We're going to go over to Edit, Transform, and we're going to flip them. Okay. And now that we have them flipped, we're going to scoot these in just a little bit, just like that. And we're going to move this up. And we're going to scoot it over using our arrow key. And the same thing with this one. All right, and we're gonna do this, and we're gonna scoot it over some. Scoot over is my favorite word for today, I see. I'm just going to do that, highlight everything, go to edit, process overlap, and there you have more of a traditional mug than normal, right? Now you can see that we just did this mug and it has a different base all together because our bases were different. So these are all our little mugs and I think that they turned out really, really nicely. I do have to admit that the larger D, the more pointy D is growing on me, but I like these as well, the small little loopy loop D. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put everything inside of my mat okay you really need to make sure that you put everything inside your mat if you want to save it as a um, fcm file and since we have everything i like to put everything together just in case i get to um, the table and i've screwed something up so now we're going to go to file we're going to go export fcm file and it's going to open up into the scanning cut that i have and we're going to just put two mugs right whatever label but whatever name you want it to be you can name it that and it's saved and you're good to go um and you can just recall it whenever you need to recall it so if you have any questions or comments and if you'd like to see more of this let me know in the comment section i want to say thank you all for watching until next time happy crafting